food tourism in Russia. Today, gastronomic tourism is an incredibly trendy hobby. Travelers go on a journey to try traditional dishes and local products, in a word, to learn people's cuisine, part of their culture. Numerous peoples living in the territory of Russia form the diversity of its cuisine, which pleases gourmets. In addition to traditional Russian dishes, it also includes Caucasian, Far Eastern, Mary, Udmurt, Siberian and other dishes. For example, in Kazan, you can try the traditional Tatar dish Katak, a sour milk drink which Alexander Pushkin has spoken highly about trying it once in the village of Shartny, or the Chark Goose, a traditional dish of the Turkic peoples. Besides national dishes, regions or even some cities have their local dishes, which you can try only there. For instance, in St. Petersburg, one should definitely try fried smelt. Almost every restaurant serves it in the spring. In May, the city even celebrates the smelt festival. As they say, the first such celebration in support of local fishermen was held after the decree of the Russian Emperor Peter I in 1708. Sometimes, gastronomic tourism involves not only tasting, but also visiting places of production or harvest, or a cooking master class. After all, a gastrotourist wants not just to taste, but to study the offered dish, and to find out its history and its specific features. An excursion to the plantations and wineries of the Crimea, a trip to the dairy farm of Uglik or the apiary of Gorni Altai, these are not just pleasant pastimes, but also parts of a cultural program. To save their time, some tourists attend different gastronomic festivals, where they can try a lot of local products and dishes from the best chefs of the region. Every year, in Suzdal they celebrate the Cucumber Day, in Minusinsk the Tomato Day, in Kamish the Watermelon Festival. There is also a Feast of Pulmeni, gastronomic festivals delicious Kazan and Taste of Yakusha, and another two dozen delicious events. In culinary Russia, there are exotic dishes as well. Experimenters go to Kabarus to try fried young fern shoots, then to Alista to drink Kalmyk tea with butter and salt, in Adagi, to continue the dinner with chestnut soup with the hard named Kankankups, and in Magadan, to taste sour fish heads. For those who is already confused with the whole variety of choices, they are developing the gastronomic map of Russia. Experts, photographers and gourmets are traveling around the country, searching, trying and choosing the best dishes that this or that region is famous for. So, one will be able to just open the map, put their finger on any Russian city, and find out what there is to taste there.